hi guys it's me Sam and welcome back to my channel wow the birds are going crazy hi guys it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel I promised there would be another video this week and I am delivering that promise that is so good for me so first of all let's just address this situation here going on we're going to ignore the fact that I have a spotty face that's hormones for you guys hormones <laughs> but yeah we're just going to ignore all this and we're just going to continue with the video so no need to comment anything down below about this spotty face right here <laughs> anyway so today you can probably tell by the title i am continuing the tradition we are going to do a me at 27 even though this year has been the worst year possible we are still gonna do it because you know positive vibes we can look back on it we can see how this year kind of affected us compared to the next like the upcoming years and yeah we're still gonna do it because it's all good so if you haven't seen my last video on this I did me at 26 and I actually got this video idea from Archer Adventures and they knew I did it last year and again I'm going to comment their link down in the description so make sure you check them out really really good they do vlogging type videos and question videos and all that um and among us videos so if you're an among us fan go check them out absolutely love the videos and yeah just want to say again thank you for this idea and i'm just gonna go and str jump straight into the video actually i'm gonna explain so my birthday was on the 20th of january this is a little bit late i am at, in fact 28 which is really old sounds so old oh my god but you know i didn't get to do anything as a 27 year old so i want a refund on last year and i want to stay 26 so yeah i'm still gonna pretend i'm 26 <laughs> but yeah i've got the questions here and i'll also comment the questions in the description box so if you guys want to do it they're there but also make sure you give jade marie and don louise credit because they're the first people that i've ever seen do this type of video so yeah so now we're going to jump straight into the questions so the first question is favorite tv show as a 27 year old i would probably have to say blood and water i mentioned it in my last video but oh so, yeah tv show we're classing it as a tv show because it's on netflix but blood and water is so good but I just really want season two to come out. It's so annoying that I can only watch season one right now. But yeah, Blood and Water is so good. Like I'd watch it all the time. Second question is your favorite film as a 27 year old. And hmm, I don't know. Fractured was really, really, really good. And also Jingle Jangle. So make sure you check them two out if you haven't already. But I don't really know. I watched a lot of films over lockdown, so it's quite hard to pick. But I really, really enjoyed Fractured because the ending was just like, wow. If you ask my sister, she we both just like our jaw dropped when it got to the ending, and we were just like, and Jingle Jangle has got the cutest characters in, so that is why I also like Jingle Jangle. So check them two out. Number three is what is my favourite song as a 27 year old? And I'm not gonna lie, it's the same as last year. It's Talk by Kovic. I don't think it's ever not gonna be. But I've also got a favourite song by Little Mix, which is The Cure. So out of them two, they're my favourites. But Talk's always gonna be a favourite. I'm not gonna lie, it's literally just always gonna be there in my favourites. But The Cure is so good by Little Mix as well. And I'm so sad that Jess is left. Number four is What Am I Doing For My Birthday? So as you all heard before at the beginning of this video i've actually already gone past my birthday but there's not much you can really do in lockdown on your birthday so i'm at home i'm in a pot bubble with my sister but because it was a weekday it was on a wednesday my sister was actually at hers so she was working so she couldn't come down but on the actual day we just i got up early got a mcdonald's breakfast just because you know I could and then I just chilled out for the day and then my mum came home from work and she made a buffet and I got a red velvet birthday cake and we did no sinking our candles because every single year I promise them not they make them promise not to because I don't like the attention so yeah no singing our candles but yeah it was nice and chilled it did feel weird that i couldn't go out and celebrate but hey ho what can you do in lockdown number five is what i wish i was doing for my birthday 
I obviously wish that I was in Disneyland Paris. I'm going to say this every single time. Or even Disney World Florida. I'm going to say this every single year until I get a birthday in Disneyland or Disney World. It's going to be on every single answer for these videos if I don't end up going. But it's all good. We're going to get there one day positive vibes and all that we are gonna get there number six is what is my favorite past birthdays and still hasn't overtook my 21st birthday party even though like i said in the last video i absolutely hate attention the vibe of a party is just the one guys it's just the one so that is my favorite birthday at the moment <laughs> the next question is things i've done this year that i'm proud of um, uh, survived the three different lockdowns i mean this one's not over but surviving him oh i'm proud of um starting up the body shop at home it's actually took off more than i thought it would and i'm proud of that and someone's knocking at the door thank you why do i always get interrupted by amazon drivers where were we up to Right, so things I've done this year that I'm proud of. Matt Breath now I ran. Whew. Yeah, so anyway, I'm proud of starting up the body shop and I'm proud of surviving lockdowns. We're gonna get through this last one 100%, no matter how long longer we've got of it, because none of us know when the ending of this lockdown is actually gonna be. I'm proud of everybody, actually. Everybody that's, everybody, because we've all been through it. I'm so out of breath. I need to breathe. Don't do fitness, guys. She says and she's a dancer. But yeah, I'm proud of absolutely everybody. Everybody that's been through this pandemic, which is like a worldwide thing. I'm just proud of how we've all come together and stuff like that. So yeah, bit of a different one this year. The next question is things that I currently love. I love my family and my friends. I love my car. I love my subscribers. Obviously, I love my viewers. I love pizza. I love sleep. I love hoodies. Yeah, the list goes on, guys. I'm not going to bore you with telling you everything. The next one is what is my current style as a 27 year old? Hoodies, trainers, leggings, joggers, and crop tops. That style is the lockdown style. So that's currently my style at the moment. As you can tell, I have a hoodie on, I've got leggings on with this hoodie. Yeah, I think that's everyone's style this year, not even gonna lie. And the last question is my hopes and dreams for the future. So my hopes and dreams for the future is that everybody gets through this lockdown as much as possible. The virus completely goes. I can move out of here. Spoiler alert, I'm hoping to move out of my mum and dad's at some point this year or next year, before I'm 30 anyway. And love and happiness and now the postman's at my door it sounded like he pushed a lot through um yeah still going is he done that took about five minutes i just hope that we can all get through it together and we all come out on the other side and yeah so that is it everyone that is the me at 27 i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you like these type of videos because i'm planning on doing it every single year my birthday and yeah and also if i do end up moving out anytime soon who would like moving vlogs because that is a thing that i could possibly do you know but yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next week because I'm going to be doing another video for next week. I'll see you next week with another video. And also, if you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up. And let me know what you would like to see video-wise in the comment section down below. I've gone weird. I've gone so weird. I'm always weird. I've not gone weird. But yeah. Hit my subscribe button if you're new. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye.